Hi guys, welcome back to Math Class with Ms. Brown. In today's class, we will be multiplying a mixed number by a whole number, okay? In order to convert the mixed number um, into a fraction, that's what you have to do first, right? I have a video on that so you guys can check that out. But I'm gonna tell you right now, what we need to do is multiply the denominator and multiply it by the whole number and then add the numerator. So four times three is 12 and then 12 plus two is 14. And that's how we got 14 fourths. And then we're gonna multiply it by five. But we have to make that five into a fraction as well. And we can just add a one underneath it, that's it. Now we multiply. 14 times five is 70 and then four times one is four. So that's a um, improper fraction, right? So we ask ourselves, okay, how many holes can I get from out of there? And I can get uh, 17 holes from out of there and then I'll have two fourths left. If you guys don't know how to do this either, I do have a video on how to um, convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. Check that video out. So I have 17 two fourths and then that can also be simplified and then I get 17 and a half, okay? So your answer could be 17 and two fourths or 17 and a half. Doesn't matter which one, it all depends, okay? All right, so now let's try another one, okay? So we are going to do let's do two and let's see let's do two and two thirds times six okay remember we're going to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction we take our denominator and multiply it by our whole number and then add the numerator so two times three is six and six plus the two is eight that's how we got eight thirds our denominator stays the same and then we're going to multiply it by six we're going to turn that six into a fraction by adding a one underneath it okay so now we can multiply straight across Multiply the numerators, 8 times 6 is 48, and then the denominators, 3 times 1 is 3. So we ask ourselves, how many holes can I get out of um, 48 thirds, right? Because that's an improper fraction. And I can get 16 holes from out of that. I wouldn't have anything left over. My answer is just completely 16, okay? All right, let's try it again. So let's do another one. Let's do 6 and, let's see, let's do 6 and 1, let's see, 1 fifth. Okay, 6 and 1 fifth times 10. Okay, so convert that, uh, convert the mixed number, okay, by uh, multiplying the denominator and the whole number. So six times five is 30, add the numerator, which is 31. Denominator stays the same. That's how we got 31 fifths. We're gonna multiply it by 10, turn that 10 into a fraction by adding a one underneath it, and then you multiply across. 31 times 10 is 310, and then five times one is five. Then we say, okay, this is an improper fraction. How many holes can I get from out of there? And I can get, 62 holes from out of there. If you don't know how I got this, remember I have a video on how to convert improper fractions. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's class and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.